Very good. What kind of seasoning did you use? I used some 240 and LI 700. I swear, these farmers are always in the middle of the freaking road going slow. Like, come on, people. Let's go. We got places to be and things to do. Jeez. Never thought I'd have to say that before. Hey, what kind of an oopsie do we have here? Uh, coolant line stuck We took the alternators out of it, but we really aren't sure. We went and looked at it, and we... So we are currently uploading a video for y'all and setting up my presets for my tank fill and then we are going to go fill up here in a second and hopefully get going. I got Jim Miller's wheat to finish up which shouldn't take too long um, and then I got to go to do some things around here and then after that we're going to Robinson. So, so next on the list, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get after it. I got my pre-fill or my target fill thing set up here for 450 gallon which is about what I need to finish up there at Jim's. Uh, I got my chemicals mixed already so now all I gotta do is start sucking here in a second. Well I gotta put it in my uh, copper and then we'll be good to go. So I just finished up, uh, uh, hold on a second, hold on, hold on. I just finished up Jim's wheat which, were, which Jim is one of our neighbors. Good guy. He's a little bit older, but we're always helping out with his wheat and sometimes spraying some other things. So, yeah, now I gotta go back home. Uh, I gotta clean out my sprayer and then get ready to spray some corn ground for dad. And then I gotta go up to Robinson, which that'll probably end up being Friday whenever I go up to Robinson from the looks of it. But I am gonna put in some uh, tank cleaner and boom cleaner and clean out my tank and my boom, get that copper and sulfate all out of my boom before I put some dicamba and glyphosate to it. So, yeah, that's next on the list. Um, hopefully we all kind of learn something new today about this sprayer because I know, I know for sure I will, especially once I get done doing everything. So, yeah, we're going to go back to the farm. I think one of my dealers is there. He's picking up some things. So I'm going to go back there and catch up with him for a minute and then probably get back to work. Loaded down. Strap down. We are ready to rock and roll, baby. So I'm going to take it out back, get my loaded weight. I'm gonna guess it's around 79,999. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go weigh it. Yep, she'll spot on right about 79,950. Indeed she was, but uh, yeah, we're not on the scales anymore, so we're gonna go around back, or around front there and get some fuel. So she's all juiced up and ready to go. I gotta fix my mirror too. I hit a deer a while back and it still hasn't recovered. Oh, that was a bump. And then I gotta get off too, I think. Augie's blowing one of the rad lines off of one of the pickups down south of town here, so. And I am the only one around the farm. Goes to figure, right? So we are gonna go get him. And he is going to have to feel the shame of breaking something. So we're going to go save him. I think he's out on the road, so I'm not going to be in too big of a hurry. I'm going to swing around here and get me a water real quick. And uh, take my sweet merry old time like what he would if it was me that was sitting down there. Because I'm so nice like that. And hydro stinks. And Ogie's pick up. What kind of an oopsie do we have here? Uh, coolant line stuck in the light. So it did not like you pulling the mini, huh? No. Where does it say goodnight at? I'm guessing right back there where it looks. Uh, it said goodnight about two foot before it stopped. Because, huh. you know, when the, when the coolant hits the engine block, then it sucks <laughs> in through air conditioning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Might be something wrong. Nice. So is it all covered in radiator fluid now? Ah, no. Not really. 
<sighs> okay. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna absolutely yank on this thing, and I'm gonna drive you out there, well, and then send this one to a ditch. Send this one too. Okay. Well, I'm gonna send this thing out there, like a big loop de loop, because of where you're at, you're not gonna have steer. Exactly. You know, I really probably could have gotten the tow bar, but it wouldn't have been as funny. You can't get around. Ooh, a little feisty today, huh? Hey, hey, hey now. I'm gonna use this pull Augie in the shop. He's gonna. He's not gonna be very happy with me. It'll be okay though. Jesus, this thing's dusty. Woo! Farm Gator doing Farm Gator things. Thermax is doing Thermax things. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, that was my shoulder. Alright, now hold on. We're going. Slow down. We're going super speed. Slow down. Farm Gator doing Farm Gator things, like I said. Let's just hope he doesn't lose tension. Oh crap, we gotta open up the door more. Yeah. This thing has a flatbed on it, right? Yeah, let's push her in there. Farm Gator doing Farm Gator things again. We're gonna push her in there. We didn't end up having to use the forklift, but I'm gonna run down the house real quick because uh, mom's selling the gator right now. So, or not the gator, the boat. She's selling a boat, one of the boats. So, woo! Down the house go. Down the house go, across the field the wrong way. And I just thanks for filling up. Uh, my water truck's full. Augie there, he's gonna help me since I went down and pulled him out. <laughs> no. He's gonna, the way this works. he's gonna help me uh, prime up my injection system on my sprayer. Hey Alex, why don't you tell me one thing? One thing only. How many times have I saved your butt? <laughs> Anyways, <Exactly>. um <laughs> Okay. Dude 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 dude. Can I be the one to hit the buttons? No. Why? Because if you hit the wrong button, then it's on you. I don't care. It doesn't affect me in any way. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we're going to prime this thing. Are you ever going to get anything sprayed or are you going to think about it? Well, I got to get everything ready first. You going to get her done or are you going to think about it? You're going to think about it. I figured. Okay, so we are going to go in here. And you're a child, Augie. You know that. You're a child. <laughs> if I'm a child, that makes you a child. Jeez, Augie. <laughs> I'm actually trying to work here. <laughs> or trying to. If I'm um, a child, that makes you. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, here we go. Okay, so. My cornerstone. And what happens if I shoot ether into the motor while it's running? Don't know and don't really want to find out. Okay. We're a little bit close to spring here, Augie. Oh. Okay, so we gotta go in here and hit the tool button. Um, What's this then, do? That's just my iPad. What's that do? That, that's my iPad. What's that do? That's my iPad. What, what's this? What's this do? That's the steering wheel. Okay. Uh, What's this button do? Oh. That, that's the radio. Okay. You might as well leave that off. Don't want YouTube to find can, out. Can I play with that? No. Uh, what's this button do? That's the emergency shutoff. Don't hit it. 
what happens if I slam my hand on it. Okay, so we're gonna calibrate it. <laughs> Says who? Me. Start <laughs> calibration. <laughs> Never mind, it's not gonna start calibration. Start prime. Start prime. What do I have wrong? Uh, probably the operator. Uh, probably. <laughs> Calibrate prime, manual auto, RX. What happens if I pull this out? Hey, that's my iPad charger! Oh, and Midland Radio. Um, okay, so. Alright, Augie. Why? Uh, Why are you like this? Uh, What's this do? Well, actually, you're about to find out. Oh. Can I go hit the button? No. Okay, so we gotta take this off. What's that do? And then, now it's going to be facing up, and then you shove that down. Okay, now I'm going to go up there and I'm going to hit prime. Okay. It's going to prime this. Okay. This will go up. Are you sure? Yes, it should. Are you sure? It should. Okay. It's going to go up. Okay. And then, I'm going to yell out the window and say, we're calibrating. We'll shove it back down. We're going to have to go up, and it's got to be in between these two lines. Okay. You see that? No. Wait, wait, what are we doing again? Calibrating my what's injection this, system. What's this thing? It's a sprayer. Are you sure? Yes. I thought that was a sprayer. That's a semi. So we're going to turn it on. We're going to hit start prime. Okay. So I'm not the smartest of folks. So now, we'll, uh, actually, we got to turn it back this way now. See, you didn't tell me that part. So. Shove that back down again. Okay. What if I can't shove it back down? Yeah, now I'll put this. On. Nope, 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 not yet. Nope. I gotta hit prime again because we gotta prime the hose to the top or to the tank okay. or to the uh, top. Okay. Okay. Uh. Well, he gave me the GoPro. Let's go hit buttons. <laughs> uh, he said start calibrate. Okay. I don't know what it did, but I don't hear him screaming and yelling, so that's good. I think that's good. <laughs> you broke it. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't care. Throw a GoPro in Bond. <laughs> <laughs> A cheeseburger with uh, a little spice on it. Hey. Are you trying to kill me? No. Are you sure? Hehe. <laughs> Boom. Little spice. The barbecue sauce. You know yours is right there, right? But there's uh, the barbecue oh. sauce is right there too. Oh, okay. I thought I ought to put some barbecue sauce on it, right? Yeah. And then get the spices over here. Okay, okay. I figured out what you've done, but I mean, I didn't know. Yeah. Well, do you want it? Yeah. Did okay. You, did you hand make it? Yeah. Should I be scared? No. Are you sure? Yes. What kind of rat poison's in it? Spice. What kind of rat poison is in it? 240. Is that it? What else is in it? Uh. <laughs> you like it. What else? Can't say. No, no, no. Bad Augie. Oh, good Augie. Bad Augie. Good Augie. Bad Augie. Making sure you eat good. You're supposed to be feeding me well. Not poison. Poison good. Hey, Alex. How yeah. was your burger? It was pretty good. What kind of seasoning did you use? 
I used some 240 and LI 700. Uh oh. You okay, buddy? So, uh, just gonna call. They got a tractor problem down here. I'm the only one in the area with something that's running 24 volts. So, I am going to finish up this field. It's only about 15 acres. Should only take me a minute or two. And then I have to go down the road a little ways and go help and get this tractor started. We think the alternator is out of it, but we really are not sure at this moment. Um, couldn't be anything from an alternator to a bunch of dead batteries, but uh, we need that tractor running like an hour ago. So I gotta get this finished up and I'm gonna head down there. Like I said, it shouldn't take me too long. Ross is down there running that tractor. So, yeah. But it's supposed to rain first thing in the morning, so we gotta get it out to the road at least. Because if not, then that tractor's stuck back there and there's no way that we're gonna be able to get it out or get it fixed. So we gotta get it out of there. Don't know exactly how we're gonna do it yet, but we'll find out. So anyways, we're gonna try and finish up this field pretty quick here. We're spraying away. Uh, I got one more field to do down here after this and then I'll be done down here and then I gotta go back around home. Tonight's a short night. Only 100 acres just turned into a long night and only 100 acres, so oh well, it'll be alright. It's only 9 o'clock, but we'll see how late we stay out. Well, just got back to the farm. They got the tractor back home. Um, we think the alternator's out of it, but we really aren't sure. We went and looked at it, and we put enough jumper cables on it and got it charged up and then brought it home, but we don't really know what's wrong with it at this point, at this point in time. So I'd say John Deere will come out and run some tests on it. We'll take the alternator off, take it into Oregon Battery in the morning and have them look at it. Maybe swap the one out of this tractor to put on it if it doesn't rain tonight. So then that way they can get running in the morning. Uh, if I can find a flashlight here. <coughs> Damn. Yeah, there's a flashlight. We'll look at it. But, um yeah we don't really know what's wrong with it at this point in time we should know more, more in the morning uh we're gonna have john here come out and look at it first thing probably help us swap out that alternator which really it isn't that hard so i'd say they'll probably just do it in the morning if they don't have one up there at john deere then we'll take one or we'll uh take one off of another tractor Yeah, it's just a normal old alternator. Nothing really too special to it. So, well, I mean, of course, it probably has John Deere on it somewhere. It cost about a million dollars, but it's all right. But yeah, we'll look at they'll look at it tomorrow first thing, and hopefully figure out something with it, get it fixed, and back up and running. But we can't have it dying on us like that. That's for sure. We're charging the batteries on it. I would say that what they're doing here is probably because I made it back a little bit after them because I had my sprayer. So they're charging. They're probably gonna charge these batteries up, and then whenever John Deere comes out in the morning, they'll check the batteries, make sure the batteries are all right on it. At least that's what they're saying they was gonna do. And then, like I said, alternator is always the first thing to look at. But oh well, nothing we can do about it now. Gotta wait and see what happens in the morning. We'll say though, it is a pretty nice day, or it was.